Alright, what's up guys? This is Tryptophan. In this video, we'll be doing our Tannis Guide. Unless I get random. Yep, our Tannis Guide. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is... I don't want lanes going through here. At all. Uh, because I'm going to make one outpost here and I want it to have as many lanes as possible. So I'm going to wall off this. So that way, uh... I get more lanes going to my outpost. And I get more feed. Because Artanus is 100% about how many... His eco is 100% how many lanes you can kill. And it can snowball very easily. Let's see, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Okay. I'm going to create... One thing I'd recommend... Artanus is a very hard to play class, so... I want to recommend to play him if you're learning, but... He can be very fun if you like making a lot of uh, posts and everything. So, I'm gonna move over here. My first half post is. I gotta give the, this, like this, uh, walling credit to Ace. I pretty much just straight up copied him. And then I'll, I'll create a pile on here to do surface area a little bit. But not really. Let's see, so like here, here is good. I'm, I'm getting a lot less lanes because of this. This outpost, yeah. So. One of the most important things about Artanus is every time you get 10 gas in the early game, make a Mothership Core set. Just get your eco rolling. Let's, I'm gonna help the adepts help me. Alright, let's see where the hunter is. I know he was on the... Alright, I'm gonna... Have those go there, because I think a hunter is coming over here. Oh, he's right there. Alright, 10 gas really soon. Yep, making it. Mothership Core ASAP. <coughs> um, excuse me. Actually, I'm going to have this first one go somewhere where I want an outpost. I'm just constantly. All gas towards Mothership Core, and then the spare minerals go towards Warping In. I just got found, so I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm watching the minimap to make sure my hero is safe. I have all Mothership Core's key down in 6. I can run away, because that's the meta right now for Artanus. That's super fast. Speed Aura. I'm in a whole position right here. Hopefully they don't find it. So I need the... I have these Adepts on whole position here. And then I'm going to have these Adepts go there, whole position. I'm going to see if I can make a Mothership Core ASAP before that dies. Alright. Four mothership cores is good. Anywhere in between four to six is good for um, making your first mothership. Now where was this going? It's going right here. So I'm gonna have that go right there. So I have. I'm gonna see if I can help this outpost before it dies. So I pretty much just have three outposts right now: this one, this one, and that one. Just fine right now. Alright, where's this last mother shot? Oh, right there. I need it. I'm at 30 gas, so I'm just stockpiling minerals until I can get a mothership. I'm probably going to move that there. It's not getting as many kills. This will go here. No, it's something less obvious. No, this is good. Alright. And it costs 475 minerals, 30 gas to get a mothership. But it gives you 30 income, so it's really good. Usually I have the first mothership for myself, and then I'll give the next few to allies. Alright, so I did that. I'm going to reball that so this outpost gets more kills. I'll add a few more depths there too. Alright, I'm just, I have 30 gas again, so I'm just going to stockpile minerals until I get... 
Uh, I'll probably have 30 gas again. So I'm gonna just go a little bit more greedy. It's just always good. I like to uh, always warp in adepts near Artanis to keep Artanis safe and the adept safe. They can keep each other safe. I'm lagging a lot. This is the game, by the way, not the uh, not the recording. I'm gonna make another. These only give a uh, four income every five seconds. It's still good, but definitely nowhere in is there anywhere. In. I'm gonna give it to this dude. The guy's cloud echoing, and then he'll be able to run away later in the game. Alright, I guess um yeah, there's not really anywhere else. So this is good. No, I may be making a lot more outposts, but I just have so much Vespian gas, I'm just trying to save minerals. Get the mother ships up ASAP. Alright. I'm kind of trying to time it up where uh, I get 30 gas and 475 minerals at the same time. So I'm not just doing nothing. And usually, the best way to farm gas is to be away from your allies. Like, which I'm doing a good job of right now, but having more rocks so they funnel around like certain paths and it blocks other alternate paths is another good way um, I'm, I'm just getting so much gas right now this is a good game yeah I don't really care if he kills that by the time um yeah, this is the game lagging but um by the time late game happens I want these walls gone so survivors can use them safely. This game is lagging a lot. Because if uh, if there's creep in this area, that can be really annoying. I might have to edit this out. Maybe some other replay. Alright, I'll just make this game not last very long. Late game, one of the weaknesses, <coughs> um, excuse me, with uh, Artanis is that all your eco is flying, which means it dies of corruptors, and you don't have a lot of anti air. So you need a scientist or a spirit if you want a base. Scientist for missile turrets, or you can just use. um. That's not fun. So you either need a scientist to mass missile turrets, or you need a dead ghost to give you missile turrets. Kind of same as Ares. Let's talk about units and upgrades. So we got the Adept. That's pretty much your bread and butter. <coughs> good for walling off ramps and everything. Stalkers are really good. They do a little bit more damage to armor and everything. They're decent. And they you can use Blink Stalker Micro with them if you want. I'm going to make that too. Alright. Oh. I'm going to move that outpost there before Zagara kills it. And I'm going to get armor right now, because they should be getting plus one attack right about now. So I can cancel that out and trade efficiently. I'll get both, actually. I'm going to attack, because I have a lot of... I'm probably ahead on upgrades. Yeah, 0, zero 1, 1 versus zero, 0, If you're ever ahead on upgrades as Zertanus, you want to be attacking. And if you're even on upgrades, you want to... If you're even or below, behind... Okay, if you're even, you want like four adepts on every ramp. If you're behind, you need like six or seven just to trade better and not die. So that's the thing to watch out for. I forgot to keep buying this Nexus too. You can always um, recall motherships to save them to Nexuses. And you can also recall Artanis. Same thing. Alright, so I'm going to use this over here. Oh, that mothership will help that guy. Hopefully, he might not even use it. But yeah, I'm using this warp prism to make buildings really easily. I'll get a few depths. Probably attack from two sides. This will be attacking from the left side, and then I'll make more units to attack from bottom with the hero, because having levels on a hero helps a lot.
The only thing you can't make out of the warp prism is um, Nexus, which is unfortunate. All right, that's rapid fire, by the way. I'd highly recommend YouTubing rapid fire on our t um, on StarCraft 2 so that you can learn how to do it. So you can warp in really fast. All right. The one, the first armor upgrade gives a ton of HP for Artana, so you're a lot more tanky, which is very important. All right, behind this, I'm going to upgrade that to a mothership, and I'm just going to mass mothership cores here, and just constantly. I'm just attacking via the mini map, just shift attacking everywhere. So, like as you can see, I just did that via the mini map. Killing a ton of creep. I might have to show another replay where I'm not lagging as much. Or where the game isn't lagging as much. And that goes in a late game. Just gotta be making a ton of mothership cores. Getting a lot of levels, which is nice. If you get Guardian Aura. Oh, so let's talk about the skills. Energizer Aura makes you just run faster. I wanna kill this. The uh, Guardian Aura gives you a lot of armor. It gives me plus four right now, but level four will give you plus four, plus eight armor, which combined with armor upgrades, basically makes you take one damage from lanes and hydras, which is really nice. And rapid fire is basically the only reason our chance is playable for me, because I can just warp. Yeah, I can just warp in that fast. Yeah, I'm killing. I'm just. So far ahead right now. The moment you kill extractors is any class that stacks on gas is OP. Or that eco is based on gas, like Artanis Engineer. Who else does that? Team Nova. The team would be overpowered if they got gas from buildings and they could just kill an extractor. I'm gonna kill that. Yeah. I'm just trying to do that on cooldown. Oh, also from this Cyber Next score, I got an upgrade for Adepts. It increased my attack speed by, I think, 40%, which is very strong. It's, um, I'm going to try and get in this choke. So if he masses the lanes, I just get even more fed. But yeah, see, there's, there's still 1 0, so. If I go 1-2 right now, it's just overpowered. Uh, I should be having another Nexus. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it right there. This way, um... I also should be warping the Stalkers. Okay, he's finally 1-1. One, one, one. So, I'm just gonna eco up for a little bit. I'm gonna get 2 2 and then attack again, just do this all over again. Soccer debt. I'm gonna move. I deselected that one so it stayed. I'm gonna put this like all over the place so it helps teammates. I'm watching via the mini map if my hero is safe with this army. Because that'd be a dumb way to die after this game. And right there. I guess you want to eco there. Alright, so 2-2. Two, two. Let's see if I can put this... I put this work person on keybind too. So I can do stuff like this. And just make buildings later. So basically, in a few seconds, all my teammates will be behind. Or in a mothership. Which will make them safer. Okay. He's making mass lanes, which is never what you want to do. Hold position right there. It's plus 4. Armor. So let's see how much. So these lanes do 15 damage, and my hero has 13 armor. And if I do endurance aura, it'll be 19 armor. So I'll take one damage, and so we'll. Yeah, they'll pretty much take two damage. The deaths will take two damage, and the stalkers will take one damage. So like this is not what you want to be doing. Never want to mass lanes, especially with less upgrades. Our shall 
Right, I'm gonna get two, three. Just cause why not? I have the money. Keep microing. One thing you can do is um, I'll I'll show it. I'll put that in key mine three. One thing I'm not doing that's really overpowered. Oh, that's a lot of feed too. But let's see if I can save this guy. Just block cigar as much as I can. See, I'm with um the moment I got to level three armor. I do. I have 8,000 life, and my levels are just keep increasing. Uh, let's see how much damage. Yeah, this is overpowered too. Increases damage of nearby units. So, mothership cores can do this, and I'm gonna have them shift go away after I do that. Those little bubbles, the lanes are moving 50% slower. They attack 50% slower. It basically doubles the effectiveness just from attack speed alone. Um, I need to be working on my... Like, I have 700 gas. Like, that's just ridiculous. So, let's see if I can help fix that right here. I'm 3-3 three, three right now, by the way. I got it about a minute ago. Alright. That's a few more gateways, so... Maybe I'll just do this. I'm gonna hold position over there, so I'm safe. I'm gonna keep buying this. See, there's an immortal upgrade there. Blink Stalker upgrades in this building. And then this one decreases time for reavers to build scare by 40%. It's useful too. So I'm gonna build that. Like 3-3 three, three Reavers are insane. They kill a mass lane, they kill Somps. As long as they have the charges, they're OP. Okay. I guess it's kind of good that I didn't use all my gas because in a normal game you're not going to have this much gas. I'll probably make another Archanist guide after I make all the other guides. But GG's. Next guide I think is Spirit, which might be a useless guide because it might be changed soon, but whatever's. Alright, GG's. See you in the next one. Peace out.